Pretty much everyone has a crush, whether it's someone you hang out with or maybe even someone you've only talked to once. Yet the fear of rejection and embarrassment can prevent us from ever saying how we feel. So in the spirit of being open and vulnerable, we decided to try to convince strangers to call their crushes and tell them the truth. To do so, we teamed up with our friend Natalie, who actually admitted to having a crush on someone to us earlier. But before hitting the streets, we had to start right at home. All right, <clears throat> we're about to head out. Okay, do you have a crush? I'm already, I'm already seeing my crush. More on that soon. <laughs> All right, let's go ask Matt. Matt, do you have a crush? Do I have a crush? Yeah. No, I actually don't. I know she does though. <laughs> kill all of you. You should do it. No! I hope by the end of this video you call your crush. Another day, another weird request for a stranger with Natalie Tasha. Oh this lovely lady reached out on Instagram, slid in the DMs saying, I really like your content, let's collaborate in the next chance possible. And the next chance possible was just two days later, so. I just thought that it would be a lot easier to approach men and women if. You had a female? If we had. A <laughs> Not female. just you. Alright, let's do it. Do either of you have crushes on anyone? <laughs> Think about it. They were two good looking dudes. They were. I'm, I'm not gonna deny that. I can be your crush. <laughs> this is not what I brought you for. Do you have a crush? Yes. Are you willing to call her and tell her that you like her? Oh, no. Okay, give me your mom's number. Give me your mom's number. <laughs> Our challenge for today is to find someone who is willing to call his or her crush and let them know how they feel. She already knows. And what happened? Rejected. We're just friends with benefits. <laughs> all right, all right. We're out. We're out. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Not go up to teenagers anymore. Just <laughs> that. Do you have a crush? You have what? Can I ask you a question? Uh, no. Do any of you have crushes on anyone? Do you have a crush on someone? No. You look like you have a crush on someone. Of course I do. Have you told her yet? Yeah, she knows. She knows. I have a girlfriend. So. Uh, you have a girlfriend. Have a girlfriend. Yeah, so, but good luck. Thank so. you. What happened? It just happened. The best thing that's ever happened in life. Hello. Respect. What about you? I have a crush. Aha, uh -huh, and how do you feel about it? That I don't want to tell him. Yeah, that will change soon. Haha. <laughs> oh, am I taking over now? These girls, right here. Can I ask you guys a question? Uh, no thanks. Okay. Rejection that is Success. fine. Success. <laughs> do you have a crush on anyone? I have a boyfriend. Alright. Have a good one, guys. Do you have a crush on anyone? Yeah, probably my girlfriend. Why is everybody in a relationship but not me? <laughs> do you guys have any crushes on, on any ladies or dudes? Or Technically, I them. haven't told my girlfriend I have a crush on Okay, let's do it. We're fighting right now, so I don't know if it's a good idea. Okay, so that's her voicemail. But I'm leaving her a nice message. Well, I know we've been arguing a lot lately, but I've got a huge crush on you, so whew, that, like, that takes some weight off my shoulders, bro. <laughs> Alright. We killed it. We're getting there. We're getting there. I, I just want a, like a girl to call up a dude right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> it's a group. Run. Do you have a crush on someone? I have a boyfriend, so yeah. Okay, do you have a crush on someone? No. No. Like, nobody has crushes anymore. It's all about just like the here and now. Tinder just anymore. killed the crush scene. It's so true, because yeah. it's just like, ah, oh, you're cute. Right to right, right my boss. Right. Do you have a crush on anyone? Maybe. 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 Our request today <laughs> is to find a stranger who would be willing to call up their crush. Oh. Let them know how you feel. I have a reason why I can't be in contact with them. Does he not have a phone? Is he real? Yeah. Okay. In this day and age? Is he Amish or what? No. <laughs> I just know him in person. Okay. Would you tell him next time you see him? I'll let him know. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You promise? Well, no. do you have a crush? No. This is so awesome. I love you guys do this sort of stuff. Have a good day. Cheers. We got somewhere. He's yeah, yeah. willing. He yeah. doesn't have a phone. He's Amish for sure. <laughs> do you guys have a crush on someone that you haven't told yet? You express your feeling? Oh, good, good for you. What about you? You like pizza? You like pizza? Yeah. Dude, the you're gonna be the hero of this episode. Rick, are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? I'm not trying to put anyone under any pressure, but we don't have anyone. The thing is, he knows. But have you told him? Exactly. That's the whole point. You can't be, you can't be helping me film this episode and you haven't even done the very thing that we're asking people to do. I think it will be a lot simpler than what you think it will actually like take. I'm gonna start crying. No, 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 no. Please don't. <laughs> What's his name? Mikey? Michael. 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 She's about to pick up the phone and just give you that ring. So when I told her about the idea for the episode, this is going to be an interesting one because I literally felt like I was going to throw up when I read the words, tell your crush you like them. It comes down to your fear of rejection, right? Yeah, it does. Well, the thing is, he watches your videos. <laughs> True, he was the one who told her about yes theory. That's sick. She said, fuck it, she's gonna do it. I'm so proud of you. No, my heart's gonna get crushed into a million pieces. No, it's not. She no, it's said. Not. No, it's not. This is gonna work out. Oh, God, out. I hope he doesn't answer. Oh, f you. <sighs> don't answer, don't answer, don't answer. Please answer, please answer. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, you know how I said I was filming that video with yes theory? Yes. 
Okay, did I ever tell you what the concept of the video was? Probably something funny. Okay, so you know how they do like that thing where they just like ask strangers to like do random things? Yeah. Are you in a rush? No. What are you doing? Anyways, anyways, it seems like I'm the only one on this planet that actually has a crush. So here is me telling you that I have a crush on you. But I know you knew that because everybody in the world has told you. That's true, that's true. <laughs> okay, so anyways, that is, uh, that's the point for my call. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, Come on, did you, she can't be, you know, she's just, uh, this is Amar speaking right here. <laughs> What's up, Michael? She's the kind of girl that says yes and actually lives the yes theory. I hope you um, you think about what she told you and uh, get back to her some other time with uh, a full explanation of <laughs> what am I saying? I don't know what the f I'm saying. Okay, I love you, bye. Bye. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm proud of you though. I hate you. There you go, Michael. I just exposed myself for the whole internet. <laughs> no. I knew that was gonna be his response. He's just gonna be like, okay. Is he just like that kind of dude? Mm yeah. Alright, update number two. <laughs> She's already over Michael. We're having open auditions for my new going boyfriend. On a yeah, yeah. boyfriend. Oh my god, can we do that? Can I go on a date with a stranger? <laughs> Alright! We are trying to set up two Yes Theory fans on a blind date. I think we've found the guy. Woo!